Damn. This one's for all my boys back in Virginia. I miss you, motherfuckers, dude. This one goes out to all my uh, 100 uh, weekly watchers and listeners. You're deeply appreciated, dude. I do this shit for y'all, man. Damn. Damn. Got a big old bitch with some fat old tits. About four or five kids, but I don't give a shit. Cause you already know. It's Radio Ridley Radio. About to buy some drove. About to call up Jay and get a big old bag of coke. Cause you already know. It's Radio Ridley Radio. I'ma fuck a fat bitch tonight. She's a big bitch, but it's tight. I know exactly what she likes. It's a man that looks like a little Asian dyke. I'ma hit it from the back for the one time. Yeah, I'm gonna love this bitch long time. Gonna give a ching chong ding dong all damn night. You already know why, cause it's radio, really radio. <laughs> Stacking money from the ceiling to the floor. Radio, really radio. Addicted to fucking fat bitches and snorting coke, yeah. Need a fat bitch to suck up on my little Asian dick tip, yeah. Need a Miss Piggy, I'ma be your Kermit. I'ma hit it, never quit. Put a fucking ring on that finger if it fits. (laughs) (laughs) Bitch, that shit's chunkier than a motherfucker. Yeah, Yeah, I'm a motherfucker. (laughs) Give it more twang. More twang? All right, Yeah. yeah. Damn. That chank got twang, where the fuck's he from? Down south, doing southern boy things. Got the four wheelers, not giving a fuck about a snowflake's feelings. Yeah, doing donuts in the mud. Got it out the mud, I don't really give a fuck. Yeah, my bitch is built like Elmer Fudd. Yeah, she's thick as fuck. (laughs) You already know, I'm smoking dro. Man, call Jay, we need more blow. Where the fuck is Jay at? I need an eight ball so I can give this bitch two balls. You heard? Fuck yeah, dude. Welcome to Radio Ridley Radio, dude. It's your boy, Michael Ridley, coming to you live from the great town of Austin, Texas. Today's date is June 11th. It's 4.52 p.m. CST. And uh, that was a C-H-I-N-K. Exclusive. C-H-I-N-K on CMT. All right, psilocybin and THC. You already know what the fuck's going down, brother. You already know what the fuck's going down. I've been hitting the gym. Like we said, we talked about that with Brent. I'm getting that, I'm getting that communist party body, dude. I'm going to be a fucking full-on Chinese communist body, dude. I'm going to be a fucking factory worker out here in a couple months, dude. Just ordered some trend off Silk Road from China. Should be here in about two weeks. <laughs> About to get fucking pumped up, dude. You ain't, you ain't even gonna fucking recognize me, bro. You ain't even gonna fucking recognize who the fuck I am. I'm not even gonna look the same, dude. I'm gonna look like the incredible chink, dude. I'm gonna be out here bulked up, dude. God, I'm gonna be so powerful. They're not gonna be able to stop me, dude. That's the problem, is that I'm. That's the problem, dude, is I, I haven't unlocked my potential. I haven't. My physical potential, dude. I'm gonna be fucking. I'm gonna be built like fucking Vegeta, like a balding Vegeta with a mullet, dude. That's what I want. I want to be fucking, dude. I'm trying to be in the hyperbolic time chamber. You know what I'm saying? Doing push-ups with two fingers, twenty times gravity. Shit, you don't know about. It's different, dude. You already know what the fuck's going down. It's Radio Ridley Radio. I'm so happy to be here, and I'm so happy you're here. All right, we're gonna start out today's episode with a little bit of racist ASMR for my ASMR heads. Uh, we're gonna start out with some racist ASMR. All right. So I want you to. Uh, Maybe put on some, uh, put on some sound deadening headphones. Definitely, uh, do not play this part out loud, because the black people on the bus are gonna look at you crazy. I know some of y'all are riding the bus. All right, why else are you here? I know why you're here, brother, because we identify with each other, man. We're cut from the same shit stained cloth, brother. I know why you're here, dude. And I'm gonna give it to you. You want, you want racist ASMR on R3, and we're doing it.
so when there are black people there laughing at it too. So I'll just be doing racist shit on stage. And all the white people get hella uncomfortable. And they don't laugh at it because they don't actually know any black people. That's why they don't get the joke. <laughs> Where are all the black people? What y'all do to them? Why are they only why do they only live where our studio is located? <laughs> And that was racist ASMR, guys. Give it up for that, guys. Thank you so much, man. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for... Uh, thank you for indulging that. I know was, I know some of you guys are probably going to legitimately listen to that to go to sleep. <laughs> I just picture a guy in MAGA pajamas with a little hat. Just <laughs> go back to where you came from. Go back to where you came from. I'm going to throw that in a YouTube ripper ASAP. <laughs> yeah, I need that, that. One's, that one's a clip, dude. That one's a clip. I've always wanted to make ASMR videos. It looks really fun. It's very easy. I could do that for an hour. Those videos, dude, those channels get so many views. It's crazy, bro. I need it. I need it to go to sleep. I fucking, I was up until 7 in the morning tonight, and I took melatonin and everything. I went to the gym at 4. I went to the gym at 3 in the morning, and then uh, I came home at 4 in the morning, and my dog... My dog had gotten in the trash, opened all the bed, master bedroom door, opened the bathroom door. He opened all these doors, and my wife was just sound asleep. I'm like, did you not hear that? She wakes up. She goes, huh? And I go, 
just go back to bed, honey. You're fine. I pick up the trash. And I asked her this morning, like, why did the dog go in the trash? Um, I realized this. When I take my dog on a walk, we have fed him a treat every time. If he takes a shit, he takes a piss, he gets rewarded with a treat. Because he was kind of like a put him in the backyard and he'll handle it himself dog. We just started walking him like last year and shitting on a leash. So he gets a treat. And uh, I was like, you know, the dog went in the trash. And I forgot to feed him a treat after I took him out for a walk. And my wife said, oh, oh he, he must have gotten my grilled cheese. Yeah, he, my wife made a grilled cheese and she threw half of it away. Mm. So he went in there and he found that shit. And he also ate a bunch of uh, dirty makeup removal pads. He had a, <laughs> <laughs> so he had, a, he had a grilled cheese and a couple of fucking spent makeup pads. That shit's going to be crazy. That It is going to be crazy. There's going to be, like, cotton in it. There's going to be... And then he, uh, there was tomato soup in there. There was a can of Campbell's tomato soup. You know when you put tomato soup in there and just like the residue inside, licked clean, dude. This guy's a savage. I know his stomach sounds crazy, dude. I don't know. What, I don't know what he's doing, man. He's just tearing Those up. Farts are wild right now. It, it, oh my god. Because they're already bad. They're bad just on a regular Marvel diet. Yeah, my dog is a fucking. My man be my man creates, you know, his own biological warfare. It's in my house. It's seven hundred square foot house. And, it's got those those bubble those bubble pups right now the bubble jet pups. Yeah, all his farts siphon through whatever turds he's got in the fucking barrel. In the chamber. Yeah, he's a, whatever turds he's got in the chamber. His farts just do a excuse me, pardon me, and then they come out of his ass and they go. Psh, and you just get fucking <laughs> jumping Jehoshaphat, brother. What are we feeding you? It smells like a dead body, to be honest. It does kind of smell. Uh, it does kind of smell uh, like rancid. It is like a very rancid, natural, pure, stinky smell. And then he looks up at you and he's like. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It was late, too. I couldn't even, like, chastise him. I couldn't even, I couldn't, like, bad dog him. Because he was just like, I got in the trash at four in the morning. You don't want to wake her up, do you? It's like, you little bastard, dude. Yeah. I can't wait to put you down and eat you, dude. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll never eat him. I will have to inevitably put him down. He's, like, 12 years old, but he's just, a, he's like a 12-year-old puppy. That's cool. Wouldn't that be the greatest way to commemorate him you're like we have to put him down because he's just him. in so much pain and we set him free from this from this uh from this prison called existence i meant just e eating him eating him <laughs> oh yeah he's got some good meat on his bones i'm he telling you right now lean. he's li very lean he's very lean I, I always grab his legs and i like massage his leg and i go god damn it dude i just think of like a turkey leg mm -hmm. at an amusement park i'm like marvel dude well, what, doesn't he lay a certain way where they look like little turkey legs? Yeah, if he lay, if he splays his legs backwards, bottom half of his body looks like a fucking Thanksgiving turkey. Yeah. Like if he if he lays flat on his stomach and his legs come out like little drumsticks, <laughs> it's like picture a turkey with a tail. <laughs> That's what his fucking shit looks like. Oh my god, dude, Taylor, um, we've been just doing a lot of mushrooms. I don't know yeah. if I don't know if this is good for our brains. How much, I dude, I've done mushrooms four times in the last week and a half. And I'm like, dude, I don't know what's... I feel like you're centered right now. Your chakras, your your chi is very centered right now. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, I can feel the vibration very... Yeah. Uh, I can feel the high... I'm a high vibration being today, dude. You're very in touch with the world around you right now. Yeah, and I think the exercise is helping. I think you guys you guys got to get in the gym, dude. Start listening to the... De uh, start listening to Deftones and fucking pose in the mirror with a fucking dad hat on. And bystander. Yeah, yeah, go li <laughs> listen to Bystander. <laughs> fucking Taylor's fucking adding like butt rock bridges to his songs now. It's fucking crazy, dude. It's crazy. He's like fucking sprinkling a little bit of like Creed esque vocals at the end of his songs now. I don't know what the fuck he's doing over there. But we're going on tour, guys. Come see us in Portland, Oregon. We're going on tour. It's the official show tour. We're on a one show tour. One show tour so far. I don't know how. I'm. I'm. I'm definitely terrified. I'm so fucking. I'm so stressed. I'm thinking about writing a couple of rap songs or something. I've been thinking about writing a couple of songs. I don't know. I've been writing rap again, and I've been rapping it in the style of like Eminem, where it's like it doesn't. Like, for me, like, Eminem is so good at rapping that it makes no sense. But, like, if you really think about it, uh, like, you're like, oh, okay. At surface level, you're like, uh, this just sounds like a bunch of words rhyming. But when you break it down, like, bar by bar, syllable by syllable, you're like, oh, fuck, this guy is a, a genius. 
This is me doing an impression of Eminem. I'll manhandle any homeless panhandler named Randall and feed him to a cocker spaniel named Daniel. Damn. Deranged feral animals sipping on the animals while I'm smoking cannabis. It's dog eat dog world and I'm a fucking cannibal. I know Chris already did this shit, but he was exposed as a pedo and a chomo. He was jumping in underage girls' DMs like Geronimo. Uh-oh, just like Ovio. But Kendrick shined the light on the chomo from Toronto. Let's <laughs> <laughs> talk about Chris D'Elia and Drake in that good. one. Yeah, yeah. I just thought that. I just thought <laughs> these first. You wrote that last night? I wrote this on June 10th at 4.31 p.m. <laughs> I'll manhandle any homeless panhandler named Randall and feed him to a cocker spaniel named Daniel. <laughs> that goes so, <laughs> yeah, it does, it's so It doesn't make any sense, <laughs> That's dude. Awesome. It's crazy you have that locked in your brain. My like, brain is, yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't know your why my brain works like this, dude. I just fucking, dude, I just think saying I'll manhandle any homeless panhandler named Randall and feed him to a cocker spaniel named Daniel, damn deranged feral animal. Sipping at animals while I'm smoking cannabis. It's dog eat dog world, and I'm a goddamn cannibal. I know Chris already did the shit, but he was exposed as a pedo and a chomo, and but he was jumping in underage girls' DMs like Geronimo. Uh oh, just like OVO, but Kendrick shined the light on the chomo from Toronto. Whoa. That was like a autistic, like you just snapped and wrote that at 4 p.m. Like you blacked out on a couch somewhere and wrote that. Bruh. That was like, it's just like. When creativity strikes, I gotta fucking write it down. I've been writing so much more, man. I don't, I've been like unlocked that part of my brain. I've been unemployed long enough to where the creativity in your brain starts healing, oh, and I've realized that like that working sense. a working a nine to five job every single day, doing the same thing, fixing the same problems, and like shit never improving, can kill the creative mind. It kills the creative mind. It's like the people who want to be managers or the people who are smarter than their managers are probably creatives. I'm convinced. You're an artist, you're a creative, you find solutions, you know how to fix things. And then when you're when you're constantly going, hey, we should fix this, hey, we should fix that, that beats down on you over after a while. And that part of your brain gets erased. That creative solution fixing part of your brain, it just gets beat out of you. Because you become just a you just become a sentient cog. And I think everyone I think I think everybody should fucking quit their job and stop paying taxes. Honestly, I think we need to go back to subsistence farming and bartering and, you know, let the Chinese make Jordans and let the Vietnamese make noodles and, um, you know. What would you sell if you were what would I If I was a barter. What would your wares be? My wares would be, um, I would, uh, I would just, be, I would be out in the courtyard in the jester's outfit. You know, I'd be a, I'd be a little, I'd be a homeless panhandler. Slanging jokes. Slanging jokes. With the little jingles on my head. It'd be like, hey. I'd be the fucking, I'd, I'd just go, give me a dollar. Give me a dollar, pre. All right, but what would your joke, the jokes would be like political about, so let's say it goes into like an apocalypse and you're, uh, you're, the, you're at the trading post and you're a jester at the trading post. Yeah, I go, I go, uh, I go, nuclear fallout, am I right, folks? What's the deal with my skin falling off my body? Ay, ay, ay. Oh my goodness, I miss healthcare. Do you guys remember healthcare? We used to complain about it so much and now it doesn't exist at all. <laughs> uh, do you guys remember uh, aspirin? God, I miss aspirin. Well, they bombed the Bayer building. We lost Bayer. Yeah, they weren't a good company, but I mean, fuck. I need ibuprofen. I would just be complaining about shit. Do you guys remember water when it like didn't have chunks of shit in it? <laughs> Woohoo! God damn, dude. Goodness gracious. Now we all know we guys. I uh, I really miss the Bud Light factory before the, we lost it to the Raiders. I miss. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't like this bit. No. Let's move on. Yeah. I know somebody will. Somebody will be like, "Oh man, you should expand it on that more." I'm like, "Dude, I don't know." <laughs> it was one of Taylor's dumbass fucking. It wasn't toss up. No, you no. It wasn't a dumbass toss up. You just thought I could do it, and I'm not that good. <laughs> Taylor, stop blaming yourself you for my inadequacies, stop, dude. Stop blaming yourself for believing in me. Yeah, you're so good at everything that you do. <laughs> I'm fucking I don't know like, about that. Yeah, you're very good at the stuff you do. I, I kind of bombed yesterday. No, no, we had fun. It was fun. I got to yell at somebody for the first time. That was the first time for me. Yeah, explain what explain what you were doing because that made me happy. I was like telling a joke. And uh, the guy was like, 
finishing my joke, and he was like, "Oh, it's because it's because," and I was like, "Yeah, it's because you're." We're, yeah, to, or he's like, oh, it's like we're on the same cycle. It's like we're on that was like the punchline or whatever, and uh, and I was like, yeah, it's like it's like we're finishing each other's fucking jokes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, and then I went off on it. They reacted weird to a MAGA joke. Mm-hmm. The guy said if uh, Hot Topic was really alt, then they would sell Make America Great Again merch. Mm-hmm. And uh, they were like, oh, boo. and they didn't even look like like they looked like mm-hmm. some dudes that would think that was funny, mm-hmm. and that's like so innocent. And they were like, oh, there was like groaning. And I was like, what are you guys, a bunch of fucking Biden voter tech bros driving Teslas? Like, and they look like that too. They were like we're all wearing golf shorts and shit. And then we left and we saw the guy that was heckling us oh right out from God. the mothership. And he just pointed at us and started laughing. <laughs> and we started laughing at him because I wanted to beat his fucking ass so bad. And it went from like when you want to fight somebody to <laughs> what are we doing, dude? <laughs> yeah. Like six people in an open mic, exp- oh, dude. And you're gonna be like, "Don't heckle me, dude." Yeah, what the hell? I'm working. There's fucking six people at this open mic. It's 1:43 a.m. in Austin, Texas, and I'm working on my art. Imagine that is crazy, though. Like, imagine if, imagine if Michelangelo was uh, chiseling out the statue of, of David, and somebody was just like. It behind him the entire time while he's chiseling, and he's like, "Hey, why is the dick so small, gay dude? You're spending a lot of time on those balls. <laughs> <laughs> you're just spending so much time on those balls, dude. Are you gay? <laughs> Come on, you could make the dick a little bigger, bro. What are you doing?" And Michelangelo's like trying to like gently. Yeah. He could one one false move. I'd like to think that maybe the statue of David's dick was bigger, and he got he got heckled. It was a massive cock, dude. My man had a fucking my man had a fucking big chungus down there, and then somebody like was like, uh, "Hey, Michelangelo," and he was like, "What?" <laughs> and just fucking, God damn it, dude. And then he had to whittle down with what le- marble he had left. Head on the broken dick. Yeah, he's like, dude, do I have to? He's like, damn it, dude, do I start over with a brand new? Sh- piece of marble i've already done the abs and the and the and brow the, and the, the jawline and yeah i've already <laughs> i've already done like 98 percent of the statue <laughs> that is crazy though it's like it, it's crazy how like spoken word or comedy or singing and stuff like that that's all like that's all like kind of like painting you can always just put some more paint on and start over and change it as opposed yeah. to like a sculpture you're kind of like you're taking away material and yeah, so I guess, you know, the statue of David, it, it is a remarkable piece of art. Like, it's crazy to me that they could chisel shit out that well. And then, like, I just don't think AI could do that. I don't think we could make a robot that could make statues of David's, dude. I don't think we could do that. You don't I think, think we could three, 3D print eventually, like, a statue? Like, what about all those... Uh, but that takes away, like, that. Like, you're like, oh, it's just a machine doing yeah. math. It's like, it's not a fucking... There's not, like... Yeah. The transference of a soul into medium. Yeah. There's no tra- like to me. It's like I don't, I don't like AI art. I think AI should be working, and then we should be doing art. Like I always think yeah. I, I'm like, I've come to terms with this uh, that I think he, the human race is supposed to just we're just supposed to make stuff and go, ha ha, look at this, and have a good time. And then the people who aren't good at art made the current world that we live in. The people who made money, the people who made the economy, all this shit is just like, I don't know what I'm good at artistically, so I'm just going to fucking ruin it for everybody else is what it feels like. It's like these computer nerds ruining art. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I I think AI art is un, unsettling. I don't like it. It yeah. makes my head hurt. It hurts my eyes. Well, I don't think anybody really likes it. I think everybody looks at it kind of like, as a joke like they'll make you know like the ai pictures of their face that look all goofy and have three fingers and stuff and they're like so it kind of maybe is good that we're seeing it so we can mock it you know what i mean and i feel like i feel like something else is going to happen where ai art makes our art more valuable Mm. like people are going to be like uh, like Mm. oh anybody could make anything oh my god he just made that himself in a world where he didn't ha- doesn't have to yeah it's so, like how dvds and vhs's are worth more money now and like old that. video games and stuff like that like people are craving the tactile tangible experience people want it they want it in their hands that's why record players 
I've wanted a record player for so long, dude. I want Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band on vinyl. Get one, dude. Let's get one for the stew. Let's start doing dude, records at the stew. Records and mushrooms at the stew. Also, let's get a lower ta- let's dude, can I just cut the legs on this table by like I want I think I think what well, we're I think what we're going to do is we're going to um, I'm picturing two futons on each side of the wall and then a lower table and then a back futon or something so that you can utilize the screen. Like, yeah. kind of like a conversation pit. Can I we, think that would can be... Can we ask Chelsea? <laughs> for what? <laughs> to buy it for us? No, I'm just kidding. What? Uh, yeah. I, yeah. I'll, no, I'll... Ask I'll, our moms. I'll buy it. No, I'll, I'll buy it. I want to I wanna build a conversation pit. I've been yeah. looking on a Facebook marketplace, and I found, like, a nice futon for 70 bucks. Me and LaMare were talking about doing an, redoing the space, because we've all been talking about it, and then uh, doing an office space-style video where we destroy this, hit, this table. I want... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh shit, motherfucker! Die, motherfucker! Die, motherfucker! Fuck this table, dude! I hate the setup. I hate this. Like in the beginning, I was like, dude, I have my own, I have own my my own space to do my podcast. Yeah, I'm not comfortable. <laughs> like, damn it, dude, I'm not comfortable. Um, well, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. It's it's this all per- really comes down on me. So you know, you can shame on me in the comments. Yeah, like you have been. Yeah, I know. Everybody shits on you in the comments. I don't know why they do that. I deserve it. Well, I mean, it's let's the only take way for me to lo- grow and learn. Let me take five. You gonna take? You gonna take five? Yeah, let's, let's take, take five real quick. All right, we'll be right back. We'll be right back, guys. Thank you so much for listening to Radio Ridley Radio. It's about my dick, yeah. And oh, we're yeah. back, folks. I, I pulled this up earlier when you were talking about working out. Yeah? Yeah. What is it? Do you want me to turn around? I'd like you to. Okay, one second here. Whoop. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that would cheer you up, dude. That did cheer me up. It's crazy. I'll be in the gym, dude. I like being in the gym alone because, dude, I make some sus-ass sounds when I'm lifting weights, dude. I'll be in the gym like this. I get to the point of exhaustion, and I'm just like... I can't do it. I sound like I'm getting railed out, dude. I'm just fucking. I'm in the gym. I'm like, I'm fucking like. Well, I work out to the point of exhaustion, so it's like I don't want to hold it in. I need to exhale, or my head starts hurting. Like when you're lifting weights, if you're not breathing, dude, it hurts your head. So I'm just. <sighs> you're, just, you're just lifting 15s. Yeah, it's like five pounds. Those little five pound women jazzer size weights. The little pink ones. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my gym is the gym from that SpongeBob episode. It's just fucking bunnies on barbells, little stuffed animal. You don't remember that? Type in SpongeBob's gym on Google, and I'm sure that it'll pull it up, dude. I am just trying. I'm. I'm just really focusing on arms and my thighs. I just want my arms and thighs. I'm okay with having a gut, but if my fucking arms could match my torso proportionately, I'll be fine with that, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's that's me. That's me. I love pain. I heart pain. <laughs> Dude, SpongeBob is so fucking funny, bro. Look, this old is- SpongeBob was funny, dude. Very good writing, dude. That's when we get Jack, dude. Yeah. Honestly, dude. We could do that it. and that episode is so funny. Is that like when they're walk when they go uh Fight. yellow, pink, and then as they're walking away, he's like, I didn't know you had yellow underwear. He was like, They were white when I bought them. <laughs> Implying he pissed his pants so many times that he dyed his underwear yellow. <laughs> so good, dude. And it's like the last second of the episode too, so they wouldn't like get in trouble. They had tacked. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Type in uh when SpongeBob had those inflatable arms. SpongeBob inflatable arms. Dude, that's what I'm trying to get like, dude. That's my dream body right there, dude. 
Yeah, it's just same legs. I'm square shaped. If you've ever seen me with my shirt off, I'm very square shaped. It's <laughs> fucking disgusting. I'm not, dude. I'm not blessed in the in the genetic, physical genetic department. I am. I know what I look like, dude. And the fact that I'm married and I and I get cooch on the regular, it's still a mystery to me. And I'm very grateful. I I, I want to think. I want to shout out. I want a, a big shout out to God for blessing me with my beautiful, loving wife that keeps me drained. Cause. I'm gonna tell you right now, dude. When I was single, brother, it was not. We were we were getting what we could get, and we and we weren't throwing a fit. All right, we were. We we didn't have the 32 pack. We we're gonna have to mix and match, Napoleon. You know what I mean? We were not getting the best. Just a lot of fat black chicks and fat Puerto Ricans. No, I I know I never fucked a fat black bitch. I was getting super bad black bitches. Super baddies, nice. dude. Yeah, Kendra's. Oh yeah, with the nails, uh, Kendra, uh, Maya. Oh, dude, yeah, they were they were hot black chicks, but man, they wanted kids, bro. <laughs> Those black girls always want kids, bro. And every time I banged a black chick, they were like, "You can, you know, you could finish in there if you want, for real." And I was like, "Uh, sound a little Mexican at first. You, yeah, you can finish in there, like, bro, if you wanna." Yeah, I was. Black so I was. Oh yeah, I was banging a black chick, and she was like, "Come in my pussy." <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck? No, dude, I can't do that. You guys are so fertile." Why? Why don't white chicks want to get have babies as much as as other other races? Because white women, white women are uh, the biggest victims of feminist indoctrination. My career, but what about my career? What about my job? And I won't be able to get with my friends. When white women have children, they have children as like, it's like this, it's like these European genetics where they all want to have children together. They all want to have children together. That way moms. they can all still, like, they all get off work in the same time. They all get that maternity leave at the same time. They all get to, they get to create this generation of friends that grow up together and go to school together. And then they all go off to college together. And then... They're all named Braxton, Braden, Jaden, and it's not spelled the way it sounds. I'm so grateful that I still have, like, these normal, like, you and I grew up, you, me, and Tony, we all grew up with, like, these normal Gregorian names. God damn it, dude. Taxton? <laughs> fucking, fucking, uh, <laughs> Taxton, Braxton, Jackston, Relaxton, Xanaxton? <laughs> Tough acting, tough acting, ten acting. <laughs> All these fucking, and it's always instead of an I, it's a Y. Those, these, uh, these what kind fucking of names gen, are those? these gen alpha names. You know what kind of names these are? These are white black people names. <laughs> Jamarcius, Demarcius, Lamarcius, Javarcius. <laughs> like fucking, it's like I'm gonna make it so unique that nobody fucking knows how to spell it. And you're doomed to a lifetime of, yeah, so it's B-R-X-T-Y-N Braxton. That's how, there's no A. She didn't, she didn't want two N's. Yeah, because A is two. Uh, two N's and one of the N's has a tilde on it. Please don't forget the tilde on one of the N's. Hey, what's your name? My name is Taylor. Yeah, but there's those two Viking dots on the O. Please don't forget that. It's T E I G H L U R R. Mm hmm. T A I G H L O with the two dots R. P. There's a P. silent P. Talorp. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do we have a Talorp here? Yeah, it's it's just Taylor. Yeah, the P is silent. It looks like the guy at the birth certificate center passed out on the keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The fucking. Yeah, just let a cat walk over the keyboard at the at the <laughs> the birth certificate. Yeah, I don't really give a shit, actually. Yeah, God, I these, think it is weird. Like, these new age white moms are pretty fucking cringe. Why not name a white kid Jamarcus? I've I know I know I know white kids. Who, I've met a white guy with a black name before. Why is it so rare? Like I don't know. I think I think Lamar. I've met a white Lamar. Lamar is a fucking yeah. black dude's name for sure. The first Lamar I ever met was. The one on the one on the San Andreas. Uh, I don't know. Uh, no, this kid I I lived with, uh, in the same neighborhood. With, his name was Lamar. But yeah, I've seen a white Lamar. 
uh, I think a white Devion would be crazy. White Devion? Who, Devion? White Devion? <laughs> Which Devion are we talking about? Oh, white Devion? Yeah, he's he's chill. He would get, like, no, for real, dude, from, like, people at the counter all the time. So, yeah, okay, yeah, what's yeah. What's the name for the drink, for the order? Devion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, order for Devion? Yeah. Hey, that's me. That's crazy. He would, like, never get a call back for a fucking... <laughs> You never get a call back for job interviews because they're fucking racist. <laughs> but yeah, so white people need to start naming their kids black names so that we can dispel the assumption that the person that's potentially getting interviewed is black. Yeah, so we need a we need um we need a white Devante. Sorry. <laughs> white Devante. It's like it's one of those things that's like it's so racist like to stay say on stage like if you're like referencing like a like a black guy in a story and you're like I don't know what his name was Jamarcus or something you know what I mean yeah, like, yeah. like that's like tacky but it's like also factual like you're not going to meet a white guy named you know what I mean named a lot of those names It's kind of weird Well I'll start adopting white children someday and um <laughs> five five little white children with an Asian dad and a white mom, and they all have, Jamarcus, they all have Lamarcus, Devarcus, Jabarcus. I can't think of any more. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Which one are you again? I'm Devarcus. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I probably shouldn't have taken all that Xanax when I was naming you guys. <laughs> Just fucking popping Zans naming my kids. All right, this one's Huey, this one's Dewey, and this one's Louie. Playing the name game. <laughs> yeah. We got any videos in the folder? Oh, yeah. I had one that I wanted to show you for sure. All right, Actually, cool. while we're on this topic. Cool. Chelsea just told me she's quitting vaping. Nice. I think I'm going to quit vaping, too. I think I'm just going to do Zins. Pop those Zinners, baby. Because she keeps need. getting a... She, I've noticed, like, I've been getting a cough lately, and she's been getting coughs. Like, she's sick right now. And I go, are you sure it's not from smoking that fucking chooched-ass vape? Because when you're down to that last 30% of juice, you always get a cough. Yeah. So it's got to be whatever that sponge inside the vape is made out of. Burning. Burning, and then you're inhaling that, and that's got to be some kind of cancerous. There's got to be some kind of incineration going on. Yeah. And at that point, I'd rather be smoking cigarettes. I'd, I'd rather smoke a cigarette than smoke heated sponge. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, all those disposable vapes, dude, there's... There's a sponge inside that they soak with juice. And then that little juice meter on the side of your geek bar, that's just a suggestion. They don't fucking know. Like, cigarettes have been around for fucking hundreds of years. All right? And it's known that it causes cancer, and that's that's fine. Like, we know, the, we know everything scientifically that can happen with cigarettes. We don't know what can happen with vapes. And I'm, I'm low-key, like, I don't want it. This is cleaner. This is the cleanest way to get nicotine, in my opinion. It's fucking baking soda and uh, scientifically synthesized nicotine in a little pillow. And you put it in your mouth. And for the first week that I started zinning, I had a... Did you get that film in your lip? I had, like, the film in my upper lip coming out. And I was like, oh, my God, this stuff's bad for you. And then I just kept going. And I was like, oh, it's just because my body's not used to the spicy tinge of the fucking baking soda. Mm. It was... I was getting a chemical burn from the baking soda. And then my body's like, oh, it's just baking soda. All right, cool. Oh, we're good. Yeah, put baking soda in your lip and tell me that you don't lose, you know what I mean? Don't people whiten their teeth with baking soda? That's what I'm saying. It's 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 acidic. Mm. I think. I think baking soda is an acid. I don't know. Chemically, it's on the on the pH, dude. This it's is not a science pod podcast. Yes, it is. Okay. It is now. All okay. right, welcome to... <laughs> Science Ridley or Ridley, Ridley, Ridley. National Public Radio Ridley Radio. <laughs> NPR3. Welcome to NPR3. Um, no, black people, black people. <laughs> Got some videos? Yeah. I is this a this preacher one. guy? Oh, what is this? Oh, good, good, great. You haven't it's time for this. Ridley Reels Review. Yeah, I haven't watched it. Beep, 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 I, I see uh, we got a good, we got a good, uh, we got good comments here. Mythical Reels. Mythical Reel pull is always a good thing to see. And Possessed. <laughs> Go for it. That's how you bitch a boy up. You come through real tough. I suck your nuts, nigga. I suck your nuts. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Bro, it's the dried boogers for me and the buck teeth. The gap, the gap tooth and the dried boogers really send it for me. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Hey, I beat the shit out of that lady. No bullshit. That's sexual harassment, bro. Because if it was a dude being like, I suck your titties, bitch, that guy would get knocked the fuck out so quick by another guy. These are the girls you were pulling when you were homeless? Oh, uh, no, dude. But that's, dude, these are like, that's like, those are like six street NPC fucking interactions right there. Like, sh- shit like that happens on six. Those, those homeless people down there are crazy. Peep the fit, though, honestly. Yeah, she's got fucking Nike tech. <laughs> Oh, she's joking around. Oh, no, she is not. She's. And you know it. I'm the truth. <laughs> and you know it. Nuts. I'm the truth. I suck your nuts. You scared at you. You scared to get your nuts sucked at you. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being scared to get your nuts sucked. I wouldn't trust my nuts in that lady's mouth. Dude, she's like schizophrenic or some shit. Like, dude, she, one second she's sucking your nuts. She's uh, imagine she's fucking. All right, I'm gonna do some gay shit right quick. Imagine she's just fucking sucking your nuts, right? And you're like, oh man, this this feels great. And then she just like snaps and fucking latches on your balls, dude. Now you have a a pit bull. <laughs> you have a pit bull on your nutsack, essentially. Just a fucking. She just starts thrashing your little scrotty around in her fucking... Dude, imagine your fucking... Your main vein getting caught in that space between her <laughs> buck teeth, and she just <laughs> latches on. on it, dude. And then uh, type in SpongeBob chocolate. <laughs> Tony already knows what I'm talking about, dude. Type in SpongeBob chocolate bite. <laughs> no, 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 no. We can't believe the copyright. Go to images. <laughs> <laughs> dude, imagine she fucking latches on your nuts and just fucking, cause she has the gap too, dude, dude. And she just fucking, and you're just fucking flesh is fucking spiraling off the sides, bro. That's a, you scared to get your nuts sucked. I'm not, I'm scared to put them in your mouth. God, I, there's no trust, dude. It's about us. It's about trust, babe. What's love got to do with it? Got to do. <laughs> Doors open on the left. Garfield. She on demon time for real. No. Bad out of the show Five dollar nut sucks. Five dollars a show. But she's charging people to watch her. She's she's selling out arenas. So this is what she's bartering in the apocalypse. She's like, I'm sucking nuts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hear ye, hear ye, motherfucker. Hear ye, hear ye. <laughs> We out here for real, for real. We sucking nuts. Five dollars for the nut suck show. These raiders act hard. Yeah, these ra- these raiders scary for real. And ain't nobody gonna let me shut their nuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on down. Come take a gander, motherfucker. I'm shucking nuts out here for five dollars. You hear? Terrifying. Terrifying. I'm getting ready for Benjamin and Oliver. <laughs> Yo, shout out Benny and Ollie, dude. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Benny and Ollie probably getting crazy crucial suck sessions, dude. dude. That's crazy. She's not sucking dick. She just wants to suck nuts. I could not dude, are you are you jackalating off of a nut suck? Tony, have you ever jackalated off of a nut suck? He's not mic'd up. No, he's no. shaking his head no. I don't, I don't know. If, I don't know if it's possible. Have you ever ejaculated from just nut stimulation? I don't think so. I don't dude, know. I don't think that's possible. Dude, you ever, uh, you ever tickle your ball vein and get a boner? You know what I'm talking about? Your ball seam. If a girl tickles my ball seam, like between your balls and the base of your shaft. Yeah, like th- you know how you know how a basketball has that line down the middle. Mm, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you run your finger on your scrotty seam, do you do you fucking? Brrr? Yeah, sure. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's for me. It's like that's like a. a Getting the old scrody, uh, getting the old scrody seam masseused is like kind of like a foreplay thing for me, dude. Here's the thing, I uh, my boy put me onto this, Chad. I miss you, brother. My boy put me onto this. His old lady tickles his nuts, and he fucking. That's like ASMR for him. He gets his nuts tickled, dude. Ask your girl, he dude. Falls asleep. Right ask away. your short. If you can't sleep, be like, hey, babe, can you can you zhuzh? Can you give my can you give my scrot a little zhuzh so daddy can go zizi? It's not even sexual, I promise. It's I'm, not sexual. I'm, I'm to me, it's to not. To, to me, it's to not sexual. Sleep. It's like the same thing as like petting your dog's head and then they kind of pass out in your lap. <laughs> like, dude, just fucking, you know what I mean? Just give me a couple of these. Tickle my nuts, dude. My wife's tickled my nuts, and I've, dude. I, yo, thank you, Chad, for putting me on. 
You just woke up the next day, dude. I yeah yeah yeah. It was like I it's it's like when you hit it's like when you hit select on Fallout and you hit the wait for twelve hours. I'm just <laughs> and all and all the it's like you have jet you have jet withdrawal you have all the <laughs> all the all the nerfs start popping up in the left hand screen. I'm like, oh, I need a Red Bull. What the fuck? It's been fourteen hours. Nerd ropes have worn off. <laughs> yeah, nerd ropes nerd ropes have worn off. Fruit by the foot has worn off. <laughs> Red Bull, sugar-free Red Bull has worn off. What is the nerd's rope? What are the attributes that it... Nerd's that rope it is a uh, plus five agility. Uh, plus for, two... Pl for how long? Plus five agility for... Uh, plus five agility for about 30 minutes. <laughs> plus two perception for an hour and a half. Red Bull is just a plus two perception, plus two charisma, plus two intelligence for fucking six hours. Some HP on the Red Bull, too. For yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. About like 20 HP for the Red Bull. Bud Light is like negative uh, <laughs> perception, negative five perception. But like high charisma. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're trading, you're trading perception for charisma. For sure. I like that. I like the idea that like, I like when you drink a bunch of shit in a Fallout and it's just like... <laughs> Yeah. And then when you take the psycho, oh, or, 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 jet, yeah, jet, yeah, and the camera gets all, dude, yeah, or yeah, when you take psycho and jet at the same time, oh, dude, you're speedballing, yeah, and it's like slow motion. Oh. Yeah, I love, I love Fallout so much. I don't want to set the world <laughs> on. Fire. I just want to watch this lady suck nuts. <laughs> that is my one true desire. Let's watch another video, Taylor. Yeah. Well, let's finish this one. Oh, it's still going. strong on regular baby wiped pussy. Baby wiped pussy is uh. I got baby wiped pussy because hey, he's got baby's I... hand. <laughs> I got baby wiped pussy. Hey, baby wiped pussy better than sour pussy for real. She looked like she had a little bit of a sour pussy. You heard? Hey, don't knock, don't knock a little baby wiped puss for real. <laughs> baby wiped puss where it's at. What is this? This is uh, how you know that Ridley got money, right? Oh, yeah, this is the video of Lil Boozy. Out the dough. Out the <laughs> That's a crazy looking bowling alley. Lil Boozy has a bowling alley in his fucking house. This is the video a couple episodes back I was trying to find. I found it and I put it in the folder because, dude, this is just a god tier video for me. Like, Lil Boozy just out of jail. He's been out of jail for a while and he's just been living his best life and. You know, I love Boozy Badass, man. I love Boozy Badass, dude. I listened to a lot of Boozy Badass when I was a kid, bro. And it just, it makes me happy to see him just living, like, he's in his, uh, you know, he's in his retirement phase. He ain't really putting out music like that right now, but, you know, I haven't really checked. I haven't even seen if he's dropped anything. I haven't heard if he's dropped anything. But, like, that just, just something wholesome about me watching Lil Boozy going fishing, watching Lil Boozy playing, uh, playing fucking, like, shooting, what, what is it called? Bowling? What are you playing? Bowling? Uh, I don't know if there is. You're just bowling. Bowling? Yeah, he's. I just. It makes me happy to see him bowling. Like I, I would watch uh, keeping up with Boozy on TLC. I would watch that. Like if, if Boozy Badass needs his own show. Yeah. Like for sure. Like that dude is the most clippable, funny, entertaining motherfucker, dude. He's so. I think we funny. already watched the videos of him fishing with that shit. Yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. That shit was awesome. This got... house that he has, this bowling alley in this house, it reminds me of something that you would put in your house in like the two K video games when you could like make your crib. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, those? for sure. Yeah. With like Cigar the stuff on the walls and shit. Yeah. What else you got? What's this guy? Was this me or you? I don't know. I don't remember this. Go ahead and click it. Who's asked me what my pronouns are? My pronouns are let me, she, them, titties. Oh hell yeah, People. dude! Who found this video of my dad? <laughs> <laughs> That's that, my dad. Kind of looks like that. <laughs> he does kind of. Have you seen my dad? You've seen. Oh yeah, yeah. It yeah. yeah. kind of looks like my dad. Let me shade him titties. I knew what was up. He was super chill. 
I think I might have me and Tony do a lot of work on this. But I don't. I almost want to save them because we're about to do another pod after this. Uh, let's see. I'll give you a couple of them here. Let's see. Dude, the Mitt Romney hot dog video is so weird, dude. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, check yeah, this, yeah. this one. Yeah. Years since I left home. <laughs> Yo. Did you sweep chimneys as crazy? Yeah, did you see I already been here? Look at the comments. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean, you people? Fucking <laughs> Tropic Thunder. How did that not get more love? I know, dude. What do you mean, you people? I was Burnt Reynolds barbecue. Just keep scrolling the comments, dude. I just want to get a good look at her without one of the comments. Oh, Ugh, dude. Dude, why did that has to be a joke, right? I a bet better name is Amber. Good. That's pretty good. Who else sprained an ankle running to the comments? Oh, somebody had already. Um, what do you mean, you people? Oh, damn. Yeah, somebody uh, got to it before me. Oompa loompa dooba dee doo. That's so crazy. Your skin is black, but you're a white Jew. What is this lady doing? Oh, yeah, I saved this one. I, so, we'll, well, we can dig into this a little more because we're almost done here. But uh, Where are we at on time? We could do this on on both of ours. Uh, we're at, it says 58, but we kind of dicked around in the beginning when I just hit record. And then, uh, so we, we got some time actually. We can just get into this on yours and I'll do this on another one. But there's this whole lane of advertising where people are, uh, <clears throat> like taking these viral weird videos and then making, uh, like <clears throat> ads for like different things. And so, uh, like this is one of them. Avoid the pain of uncertainty. Come see me today. Let me help you find a vehicle that's going to meet the highest safety standards. <laughs> There's like... She took a pipe up the ass and spit water on the floor for that. That's crazy. <laughs> no, she didn't take the pipe up the ass. I know, but she she, she insinuated. And There's like this one. <laughs> Several times here, stop out Ali's for your agua fresca. Agua fresca sounds so good right now, dude. Oh, yeah, Oh, yeah, this is a good one, too, we can show. Okay. Hey. Hey. That's albino, rhino. Put it in her high no. You already know. Dude, look at this. Ooh. Yeah, them is the shorties I used to bag back in Newport News, yo. That's a, a, hey, man. You know what I mean? You get what you get. You don't throw a fit for real. She be giving that yak yak. 3,000. I know she gives a crazy dumb. I know that. Dude, I know she got a PhD in the brain department, boy. I'm trying to tell you, dude. Don't knock no albino black bitch, bro. She'll fucking, you know what I'm saying? That's a she'll crazy fucking suck, Dude, she'll suck the color off your dick. She absorbs color via dick sucks, dude. She's fucking, that's she, crazy. She got the crackhead eyes. That's fetal alcohol syndrome and crack in the womb for sure, dude. What the hell is that? She looks like the alien you can unlock on Tony Hawk's Pro Skate. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. <laughs> yeah, she do look like she want to, like, you go to her house and she's always, like, trying to probe your ass or something. You're like, yo, why are you always trying to get in my booty hole? She's like, I am uh, interested. She's Vietnamese. <laughs> yeah, she should. Uh, look at this Vietnamese woman, dude. <laughs> what the hell? What the fuck? Oh, yeah. Hey, let's do a let's do an exit freestyle. An exit freestyle? Yeah, let's do an exit freestyle. Are that beat gonna, that wanna... beat got me like feeling all bouncy and shit. Go on yeah, YouTube, yeah, just yeah. pull some shit up. Also, shout out that Morgan Wallen beat for the boys so they can get it in the beginning. Oh yeah, let's find let's that. See that let's see that YouTube channel. Was... Yo, shout out to Ryini Beats. Four hundred and seventy six k subscribers. He's got a Morgan Wallen type beat. I'm gonna hit him with the sub. Sub him, dude. <coughs> shout out <laughs> Ryini Beats. Holla at me. Do you want to do another country? <laughs> no, I want one like that. Like I want a, like a bouncy fucking. Um, what would you call that type beat? What would you uh, call? That I would a type say beat? I would say like a, let's do like a type in Lil Uzi type beat. Yeah, there you go. Boom. <clears throat> Free. Fly. Yeah, let's try this one. Going blind. Three years ago, maybe it's a little dead. Who knows? Yeah. 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 This is the end of your favorite show. Radio, Ridley, radio. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah. I am him. I be in the gym. I'm taking us in six milligrams right in my lip. I don't give a fuck. And I don't give a shit 
Because I am that Yeah, I am that Yo, don't end words on podcast You already know I'm a go hard You already know I'm a retard Way that flow goes so hard Yeah, put my heart in the faith of the cards It's a Yu-Gi-Oh! and I'm smoking Joe You already know, psilocyte been all in my brain Damn, I'm going insane I quit drinking, I quit sniffing, sniffing on that cocaine Two years deep, I'm sober, but goddamn still a stoner Smoke weed on the here and there, but I don't really give a care I need the nugs with the purple hair Makes me so damn schizo Smoking on that endo, smoking it out though Oh, shit, hey, hey, hey Yeah, the industry needs a bully, I'ma fill that place Hating ass motherfuckers, get the fuck out of my face I'm on the podium, I'm taking first place Call me Dale Senior, I'm winning the race Fuck out my face, I'm the best who ever did it Bitches on my dick tip, I don't really give a shit I'm the motherfucking realist I'm off beat like a motherfucker God damn, thank you Taylor for giving me The position that I'm currently in I don't give a fuck, I'm gonna win I'ma put my mind to it Open up that third eye, I'm too high Like god damn, I'm Chinese Look at these dirty knees I've been in the mud, I've been in the dirt I don't give a fuck, I'ma put in the work Bitches on my fucking dick, but I'm married I don't know man, the future is hella scary, but fuck Yeah I'm fucking brave, Radio Ridley, that's the latest craze Sub to me on the YouTube, please Please We need the money We need the money, we gotta get ads, we gotta get sponsors Damn it, what the fuck am I doing? Who the fuck am I screwing? Wait, no, 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 I'm not fucking cheating My wife's claps I'm beating Ha huh. Yo, shout out to Tony He makes the podcast room feel A little less lonely cause it's just me and Taylor Guys, uh <laughs> I hope you like that yeah, we should just make a mixtape. We should just make a mixtape as a joke. Mixtape. Yeah, we should just make a horrible mixtape. <laughs> we should make a horrible mixtape. I mix almost, tape. like, dude, I was, like, trying. I could almost get in there, but, like, people yeah. are like, yeah, it's there, Ridley. Just keep going. It's, it's in there. He kind of got it. We, I think. I give I that freestyle the, a four out of ten. I can, yeah, I can speak for the listeners when we say that we really were supporting you during that. We were really with you for that. Yeah, and you were just, like, and then it just started falling apart. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, at, at different times, you're kind of, you keep wanting to be like, mm, okay, oh, yeah, okay. And then it was like, oh. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it sucks. Oh, I suck at rapping, dude. That's why I quit. Yeah. Here, do another one. That one's the, the flow was mad. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Let's do one. Let's give him one last Let's give him one. Wake up. Yeah, do wake up, wake up. Who? Who are you? Who? Who? Who are you? Who are you? Yeah, you need to go more yeah. Who the fuck are you? I don't know you, bitch. Lot of fucking new people because I'm rich. Lot of fucking bitches trying to get on my dick. But it's monogamous. I love my wife. I love my wife. Yeah. I love my life. The life that I live. I'm killing this shit. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit. I'm just gonna be the best who I am. The best version of him. Yeah, my pronouns are it him, cause it it him They hit play, cause they wanna listen Getting money is the mission My wife is who I'm hitting My life is what I'm getting The best out of, I don't really give a fuck what you gotta say I'ma grab the fucking mic I'ma hop up on the stage And I'ma melt your fucking face Cause I'm the realest that ever fucking did it I don't even know, I didn't write these lyrics It's all off the top of the dome, please leave me alone I'm all in my home, I'm getting so stoned Psych, I don't even smoke weed like that I'm more on the shrooms, I'm gone off the shrooms Where the fuck is the door to this room? I need to get out, I'm having a panic attack And that is a fucking fact I don't know how to act Cause we're out in public and we're at the Publix And I'm trying to get some chocolate milk I wanna get the chocolate milk but I'm at the self-checkout And the fucking self-checkout's not working so I need to get a fucking employee to help me god damn it help me ring up this chocolate milk i'm on fucking mushrooms i probably shouldn't eat this fucking chocolate milk i probably shouldn't drink this chocolate milk because i'm lactose intolerant but i'm not intolerant when it comes to doing baller shit damn thank you for listening to my show r3 is the best fucking show that you don't know about tell your friends tell your mom tell your dad tell your baby cousin god damn it i love it there we go. That was a better one. That was better. That was better. Hit the applause button, you fuck. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for listening to Radio Ridley Radio. I hope you're, I hope you're enjoying the the new direction of the show. Uh, we're still figuring it out every fucking day. We're about 30 episodes in almost, and um, uh, I, I'm grateful. Guys, please uh, subscribe, comment, like, share, tell two friends to tell two friends. Uh, shout out to Taylor. 
uh, I wouldn't be able to do this. Uh, shout out to God, my mom, and uh, Tony for just sitting there smiling the whole time. That was awesome. Thank you so much. I love you. Bye. I love you. Bye bye. Shout yeah, out I love you. Bye bye. Oh yeah. Bleeds. Shout out to uh, June, June shout Beats. out to June Beats. Four point eight four subscribers. Give him a subscribe. Uh, yeah. 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 My eyes low. I'm sweaty and I'm chinky. God damn, I'm smoking on some herb and it's stinky. Tell the truth and they believe me. All my fans love me. They will never leave me. Thank you to all 100 of you. Bye-bye.